let's talk about the different types of communications that can occur on a computer network. There's actually three different types we need to discuss. First, we have simplex, then we have half duplex, and then we have full duplex. Let's take a look at how each of these works. Simplex communications are one way. You have a sender and you have a receiver and the information travels in one direction and one direction only. Information does not come from the receiver back to the sender. You want a good example? Think of a PA system. Have you ever been in school and had the principal come on the PA and say, today for lunch we're going to have da 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 da. That's a good example of a simplex communication. Another good example is a radio broadcast. If you tune your radio into a radio station, you're getting a simplex type of communications. On your radio, you can't talk to the radio and say, hey, could you play my favorite song for me? No, you have to use a telephone to do that, right? That's because with a radio, information travels in one direction only. Half duplex, on the other hand, involves two-way communication, in which case we have a host here and a host here, and information can go this direction, and information can go back this direction as well. Now, the key with half duplex is that you can only be communicating in one direction at a time. A good example of half duplex types of communications would be a walkie talkie. If you've ever talked to somebody on a walkie talkie or even a CB radio, you know that as long as you have the talk button pressed, information only goes one way. You can't hear the other direction as long as you've got the talk button depressed. When you let it go, you can hear what the other party has to say, but you can't talk, right? Okay, so you can send or you can receive, you just can't do both at the same time. Now, full duplex, on the other hand, is also two-way communications. However, both hosts can communicate, they can send or they can receive at the same time. A good example of full duplex communications would be a telephone. With a telephone, unlike a CB radio or walkie-talkie, you can talk and you can listen at the same time. If you're a chatty person and you're talking to a chatty person, that's very likely to happen. You can talk, 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 and the other person is talk, 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 and you're listening and talking all at the same time. So those are the three different types of communications we're dealing with with computer networks. Simplex, which is one-way communications, Half duplex, which is two-way communications, but only one at a time. And full duplex, where we have two-way communications, and everybody can both transmit and receive at exactly the same.